Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to take a screenshot by using python code. So let's get started. So for this we will be using the pi auto gui package. So this is the package over here. So there are like two ways of installing this package. First we will be using the pip install pi auto gui command. So I will just copy this. So in case if you are using pycharm the procedure is different. In case if you are using any other IDE. For that what you want to do is you want to just go to the terminal or you can even go to the command prompt and you can just paste it okay it's pip install pi auto gui and if you hit enter you'll be getting automatically installed this python package and exact same thing if you're having any other ide just go to the terminal and just paste this particular command it will automatically get installed and if you're using pycharm what you want to do is you want to just go to file and you need to go to settings and you need to go to project the name the name of your folder basically here and you need to go to python interpreter and here you need to click on this plus icon and in the search just type pi auto gui and here you can see it is appearing blue in color because i think i have already installed this package so you will just select this and click on install package the package will be getting installed and it will later appear in your install package list so here you can see i have already installed this one so just install okay it's simple so it's basically just two lines of code to be honest so first is going to be the import as usual it's import pi auto gui and in the next line, it's going to be the package name pi auto gui dot. We'll be having the screenshot. Just hit enter. And inside the screenshot, there are two scenarios. In the first scenario, we will be just specifying the name of the image itself. So I will just go with my image dot png. You need to add the extension as well. Don't forget dot png. So if we do this way, our image or screenshot will be getting stored in the same location as our new dot py, that is our dot py file. So this is that particular location here you can see right this is the location where I'm having my python file. So if I just specify my file name of the image alone this particular image will be getting stored in the default location itself. That is the location where I'm opened my project and I'm having my .py file. So so if I just now run it I'll be getting the screenshot of this IDE pycharm. So it's always better to use this particular piece of code within a function or if you press any key like that or you, you can have a condition okay don't just directly have a program to like display the screenshot use this piece of code within a function or a condition so that it makes more sense so now let me just run it and we'll be getting an image over here now i will show you that if i run it so here you can see process finished and here you can see i'm having my image.png and if i go to that folder so you can see right this is that particular screenshot of my pycharm id yeah, so here you can select this is a particular image, the screenshot that I've got, full screen. Yeah. So now I will be showing you another way in which we will be storing this particular image in some other different folder. Okay, this is now present in the same folder as my Python file or the project. So what if we wanted to store the screenshot in some other folder? So in that case, what we can do is I will go to my location. Like this is some other location. Okay, this is this PCC local disk C and some other folder. My Python project is present in local disk D. So for that what you need to do is you need to select the location of the particular folder you want to store the screenshot. So I will just go to this location. I will click here. I will just copy this path and I will just paste this particular path before the image name and put a double slash. So wherever you are having single slash you need to add double slash to it otherwise it will throw you an error and exact same format. So simple just add the uh, like the path before your image name convert all single slash to double slash. I hope that made sense. So this is that path. It's just having a video now over here. So if I run it, I'll be getting an image, the exact same image over there as well. Yeah, process is finished. And if I go here now, so I'm having the exact same image. So this is how you do it. Use it within a function or any if condition or nested conditions. It will make more sense. And I hope you would have found this video useful. I've also run many other tutorials in C, C++, Java, Python, OpenCV, as well as CRUD using MySQL, Node.js, MongoDB. So do check the playlist of my channel. Subscribe me. Thanks for watching.